Hello viewers, good day. You're watching Miss Cycle Mainstream on Eastern Report TV, streaming to you via the internet through your device. And here is an update on the stories we're currently following, both local and globally. I am Obianuju Obiozabati. Listen to the headlines. Enugu Ebony Land Disputes. Committee seeks sensitization in affected communities. An Amraguba poll, get your broom ready to sweep Obiano Abga out. Ngige tells APC. Cryptocurrency bonds to protect Nigerians' financial system, CBM. And now the news in full. The Deputy Governor of Enugu State and Chairman of the Enugu State Boundary Commission, Mrs. Cecilia Ezilo, has stressed the need for adequate sensitization to be carried out in disputed border communities of Enugu and Ebony states before the determination and demarcation of interstate boundaries between the two states. Ezilo said, and I quote, Violence, conflict, insecurity, and absence of rule of law triggered by border and land skirmishes can foist debilitating fragility on communities and people, hence the need for urgent and adequate measures and policies to reduce the scramble for land and territorial sovereignties within communities and states. Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ngige, has berated the ruling All Progressive Grand Alliance, APCA, in Anambra State, describing it as a stumbling block to the state's access to the national political grid. He described Governor Willie really Obiano as an idle governor who is about to bequeath the people of the state three flyovers and an airport with debt to the tune of 180 billion naira. Ngige spoke weekend in Aka the state capital during a meeting of the stakeholders of All Progressive Congress, APC, and members of Registration and Revalidation Committee of the party. He lamented absence of basic infrastructure in the state despite huge bailout funds from the federal government calling on party members to get their brooms ready to sweep the governor and his party away from the state. Former National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Okosileze Nudo, has said that giving the Southeast geopolitical zone a chance to produce the president of Nigeria in 2023 will be the masterstroke to end marginalization and all grievances in the zone. Nodo, a former governor of Enugu State, also called on Southeast leaders of thought to continuously engage leaders of other zones on the need to give the Igbo a chance to produce Nigeria's president in order to end the obvious marginalization of the zone in the country. He also condemned the modus operandi of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, floated by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandekano, adding that there is no need starting a fight when is short to lose. We'll bring you more on News Cycle after the short break. Please stay tuned. This is Niger Feedback. Welcome back. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, yesterday said its decision to ban the use of cryptocurrencies in the country is to protect Nigerians and the nation's financial system from the illegal nature of such currencies and the inherent risk associated with them. Recall that on Friday, the CBN ordered banks to close all accounts relating to cryptocurrencies transactions. Following the outcry in some quarters against the decision, the CBN, in a statement yesterday, signed by the Acting Director, Corporate Communications CBN, Osita Wanisobi, said, and I quote, The recent regulatory directive became necessary to protect the financial system and the generality of Nigerians, including the youth population, from the risk in crypto assets transactions, which have escalated in recent times with their consequences for the integrity of the financial system and financial stability. Keza stands by for sports updates. Hello, Keza. All right, thank you very much, Ujuma. And now sports. Kenyan Peter Waweru Kamaku will officiate the final of the Total African Nations Championship champ between defending champions Morocco and Mali on Sunday, 7th February 2021, at the Amadou Ahijo Stadium, Yahunde in Cameroon. Waweru, a lecturer of the Jomo Kayeta University of Agricultural Technology, will lead the team of match officials as the curtains of the sixth edition of the tournament designed exclusively for footballers in their domestic leagues fold up. 
earlier, he officiated the quarterfinals clash between Mali and Congo, which the former won five form penalties after a barren stalemate in regulation time. Back to you, Juma. Thank you very much, Kaver. That's all the news we have for you today on News Cycle Mainstream. Be sure to like and follow all our social media platforms at Eastern Report TV and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Eastern Report TV. On behalf of the News Cycle production crew, I am Obianuju Obiozavitu. Thanks for watching. Do have a beautiful week.